AC? Yeah. Yeah, it was like probably like an hour and a half. Yeah. From where I stayed. You got a bunch of family going? Yeah, I uh, probably got like 15 phone calls this week. So we probably had like close to like between 20, 25 people there. I want to ask you about the bye week. Um, the team's been kind of up and down. Do you look forward to the bye week and think it's coming at a good time, or you sort of wish y'all could maybe jail a little bit more before? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I, I don't. I don't think anybody really like an early bye week for kind of for two reasons. One, um, uh, one is just like I said, it's early in the season, so you know we just kind of want that bye week, kind of like midway through, so that we could go through whatever we got to go through, get some rest, and then go through the second half of the season. And then two, we kind of like we really ain't putting nothing together as far as a, a win streak and nothing like that. So you will hope for a later bye week so that you know we can string along some wins and get that momentum and, and you know and, and things like that. But you know it is what it is. You gotta you gotta take the cards you dealt and, and uh, just go ahead and roll with it. So hopefully after the bye week, you know we can lock in and, and get get on that roll. We, we kind of ask you every week about the receiving stuff, but I, I'm just curious about like the process of, of your growth, getting more routes every week, getting more targets, being able to play more. Like how much does that help you evolve? Just being able to, to have more film of yourself to evaluate. Yeah, um, it's always good when the, when a coach is giving you more um, of a, as a as a role. It means that they're beginning to trust you a little bit more. So for me, it's 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 all mental for me. Like just knowing that they're giving me more each and every week is just like okay, now they're starting to build that trust. And it's like um, now I can like really, you know, show who I am as a player. So I mean, I love it. Yeah, I think Sean talked about the weather. It might be raining. How much does that change what you're doing, especially as a returner? Like, do you have to do some extra work or whatever? Uh, I don't think you can really prepare for that, to be honest, unless you like just go out there in, in, in the off season or during the season and catch points in the rain. But uh, it's definitely it definitely makes the job a little bit harder, but not impossible. How much does he talk to you guys about like wearing the right spikes and cleats? And All the time. As soon as, <laughs> soon as he knows we're going to have some rain or whatever, receivers already can't wear sleeves. Um, once Or offensive players can't wear sleeves. Once he knows that it's going to rain, we got to be in certain certain cleats or certain bottom uh, cleats and stuff like that. So, like he said it today, he always put an emphasis on it. So. Sorry, I'm just mesmerized by how obsessed Sean is about shoes. It's just... We all are. <laughs> <laughs> he, he liked that about a lot of things. But, uh, like I remember we got to a point where he was just like, we can't... Uh, I think it was after the first preseason game, we had three fumbles, I think. We couldn't wear sleeves for the rest of camp. So is it, that's just how he is. It's details, man. Details. All the small things. Yeah. Uh,